All right, it's that time of the week again. If you're one of my 42 loyal subscribers, uh, welcome back. If not, welcome to my channel. I'm Justin Nitsa. There's really nothing special about me other than the fact that I'm an independent musician and I have this YouTube channel. I just actually finished uploading two new album singles, so uh, they're, uh, they're electronic songs. So I'll do a little plug next week, so uh, hopefully I'll get a few more uh, a few more buyers. So what I wanted to do is give a little guitar lesson, I guess you would say. My music these days is primarily electronic, but I actually started off as a guitarist. The uh, track in the background of this uh, video is Nimbus. It's off of my fourth album called Fission. It's called Nimbus because it was part of a, uh, a cloud trilogy I had. The songs Cumulus, Cyrus, and Nimbus. I was going to make a fourth one, but I just never got around to it. It's a little sample of my guitar guitar playing. never had any intention of uh, being a uh, making electronic music. I actually dreamed of being, you know, the next Jimi Hendrix when I was a teenager. But I feel like there's more to be accomplished in electronic music. I feel like guitar-based music has kind of hit its apex of creativity about at least 20 years ago. still use guitar playing as a tool in my music, for the most part. But but I hear a lot of people talking about how difficult it is to learn guitar, and what I've noticed over the years is people have no idea how to approach guitar. Guitar is a very easy, easy instrument. What people do is they they, they go straight to the uh, the Mel Bay beginner series, like that's like the standard guitar uh, guitar instruction uh, booklet, and uh, they approach it like they're trying to learn like like sophisticated classical or folk music. I really don't think that's the best way to approach it. You got to have fun with guitar first. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a series of videos or just one video. It depends on how long this video goes on this time. But I'm going to try to go over all the basic information you need to play guitar. The most fundamental thing is learning some basic rhythm. I started off with a Led Zeppelin a tablature book. I learned a, 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 good chunk of the a good chunk of the songs, at least the main part of the songs. What really got me going, like really, my guitar playing started getting, like, started taking off per se was when I started learning like basic Nirvana riffs. Because there's actually a type of chord, I call a Nirvana chord, it's just two notes. It's just a two string power chord essentially. Then I think of the three string power chords as the Black Sabbath chords. And there's, a, there's, there's numerous bar chords you can play and I'm gonna at least try to get through all those in this video. So first I'm gonna show you the, the Nirvana chords. The, the Nirvana style of power chord. I guess as a little disclaimer, I should probably point out, I'm a completely self-taught musician, so I learned entirely through feel and tablature books. Oh yeah, Guitar World Magazine. I had two lessons, so this is how I learned how to play guitar. I don't consider myself a great guitarist. I, I honestly don't even know if, if I actually know how to play guitar. I've just been doing it, and people enjoy my playing for the most part, so I say I can play it. But this is, this is a basic lesson to learn how I play, at least. So this is what I refer to as the Nirvana chord. As I'm sure you can see, it's just the bottom two, bottom two strings, and it's about as basic of a chord as you can get. There's actually, I guess that technically means it's not a chord, but I refer to it as a chord. I, a chord technically has to have three strings or more, and that's the same with piano. But I call it a chord because I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. There's other two-string combinations, but and I'll uh, I'll get to those maybe later on in this video, maybe in a in a future video. So here's that same little riff I made up as a three-string power chord that I call the Black Sabbath chord. I'm not sure how well you can hear the guitar because I haven't, I haven't reviewed the video yet, but uh, you should notice that the sound's a little bit more full. Essentially, uh, with the Nirvana chord, you get the main feel of the chord. So it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's the same as in like your two first fingers are the strongest fingers and your other ones are kind of superfluous, same idea. And on top of that, I play the blues, the blues scale was like what opened up my ability to actually solo. I'm a little out of practice, so I might suck right now, but uh, I'll run through the blues scale. There's actually three blues scales. I started with one of them and I, I've added parts to the other two. So I sort of just have blues scale that I use. So I'll run through it a little bit.
I wanted to add that little extra note at the end because that's actually a variation on the other form of the blue scale. So you can see the uh, possibilities of the scale. And here's how I solo a little bit with the blue scale. So I always tell people with the power chords and the blues scale, you can pretty much play rock guitar. There's really, there's, obviously if you want to get into the Steve Vai, Ingve Malmstrom and you know, Joe Satriani styles, there's a lot more to it, which I'll, I'll go over a little bit too later on. But that's the basics right there. Once you get that, you can build up and do pretty much anything you want with rock guitar. This hasn't taken as long as I thought it would, so I'll show you a little, there's actually a two note combinations I refer to as like the Chuck Berry chords. They're like what you hear in Johnny B. Good and Angus Young actually, Angus Young is really a amplified version of Chuck Berry in a sense. So I'll show you a couple of those. That was pretty damn sloppy, but uh, I, I added those uh, two little two-string uh, chords I was talking about in with the blues scale to show you really what you can do. And that's the basics of rock guitar right there, so uh, I'll get a little bit more in depth in the next video. But if you practice that, you're well on your way to playing rock guitar. I guess I'll end it there, so as always, you, uh, if you like my video, subscribe. If you like my music, buy it. And if you hate me, tell everybody. Out. Yeah. <laughs>